What's going on, everybody? We're having a little food chat because we're talking about how ingredients expire because you have to buy the whole thing, like a whole a whole thing of sour cream when you really need like two tablespoons. But now we're doing a vintage cube draft. Packrat did say blue green. And there is an island, a tropical island here, a beautiful, gorgeous tropical island. There's also a scalding tarn, which might be better than a tropical island, but who knows? There's also an oracle of Moldai. God, I'm really a sucker for the green cards. <sighs> Just say potatoes again. Oh, yeah. Because I was like, I guess I'll buy this whole bag of potatoes when I only need two. And then Not the Plague was like, well, you could just buy two potatoes. And I was like, I knew someone was going to call me out on this example. I don't actually know what the pick is here. Nothing here is like... Forget anything I say. Have your fun. Good, because I already blocked you on YouTube. <laughs> just kidding. I didn't do that. I don't even know how to do that. I want to take Scalding Tarn. It feels right. Chase the Mind Sculptor. Oh, Shieldred? Yeah, we're definitely going Shieldred here. So we're living in a world currently where Shieldred is a significantly better pick than Jace the Mind Sculptor. How does that how does that work? Interesting. There's a lot of cards I like here. Gix is fascinating. Bitter Blossom is fascinating. Kolagon's Command gets back a, a dead Shieldred. I do like Metamorph. You ever try Brainstorm with Shieldred? Yeah, you, you gain, we gain three, six, eight. These are numbers. I'm going to take the Kolagon's Command. Because this also lets us play red, which is Wheel of Fortune. And this also lets us play blue. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to get Ancestral Recall and make my opponent draw three cards when they're at six or less life. I meant if you're the opponent trying to catch up. <laughs> well, that doesn't... You didn't clarify that. <laughs> How could you be so stupid? How could you be so fiscally irresponsible? Tinker? God. How, who is that? Is that a Walter White? No, it's not. How could you... It's I, I can hear the voice in my head. It was... Cr oh, it, no one's going to get... No one's ever going to figure out what that is. It is so specific. God, we also have Through the Breach and Duretti. Oh yeah, I, I used Brainstorm's ability to look at two extra cards because I was like, clearly I'm not drawing them. <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> it's very... <laughs> Damnation actually does seem correct based on the complaints I've had recently. I'm going to take Through the Breach. You know why? Because I like big fat idiots. Like Michael B. <sighs> that was mean. I love Michael B. It was just meant to be funny. I'm sorry. I feel bad. Damn it. <laughs> Oh, Michael B's got a good heart. This isn't even the best duel to to through the breach. No, it does seem like it could be from Ozarks. So here it, here it is. It's actually Kramer from the Seinfeld reunion that took place in Curb Your Enthusiasm. He's talking to George after his money laundering, after, after all, he lost all his money to, to, to Bernie Madoff. And he's like, how could you be so fiscally irresponsible? I'm going to take this. We got to we got to through the breach, whatever. I don't care. Jeskai and Teamer. I'm going to Thought Seize. We're taking Thought Seize. In every relationship, there must be one that believes the moment an expiration date hits, an item is spoiled, and one that believes they are imaginary. So Katie is actually the worst at letting food go bad. She always buys food that she wants and then never eats it. She always just forgets it's there. Or she never gets around to it. And it's always like, babe, you got to eat this food. So tonight, 
I don't know if you guys know the company Kodiak. They make like little, they make like a lot of protein packed um, snacks and things like oatmeal. They make like all kinds of like, they make like microwavable like oatmeal and stuff that you can like take with you and like just add water and you get oatmeal. It's, it's pretty good. This is a Jundi boy. I'm going to take this custody lich. Sure. And there was a box. Of like, maybe like 10 or 8 or whatever of the little oatmeal cups. And she's like, babe, are you ever going to eat these? And I was like, oh God, what's she talking about? Am I? I'm like, how is she talking to me about, am I going to ever eat something? When she's the one that's always like letting food go bad. And so like she pulls it out of the closet and I'm like, that's not even mine. Those are yours. I'm pretty sure your name is on the box. And I flip over the top and sure enough, it's like her, her order. <laughs> and I'm just like, perfect. Classic. I guess, I don't know. This is drying up, unfortunately. We had some really great early, early picks here. And now I feel like I'm just being lied to. Spire Bluff Canal. I actually probably should have taken the black red land, I'll be honest. Now I feel silly. I think I was too I was too into my food story. Not the plague. Have a good night, buddy. I could take Dark Theps and hope we get a vampire hex mage. It's not out of the question. I'll take this Gix for sure. Or no, we're taking we're taking Reb. Reb is only almost main deckable. Oh, what up, Fluffy Blah Blah? I'll take this Nissa. What are, what are the odds? The uh, is it Ziatora? Is it Ziatora's proving ground comes back? That would be cool. Uh, I'll just take Braze because it's a 3-3 three, three for 3. Take Fire Blast again. We're, we're high red. We can do it. Okay. So we got another Jund card. But we are no further, no further Jund. Okay, so what are our strategies here? Shieldred? Does anything go with that? Nothing. How about Through the Breach? Does anything go with that? Nothing. Okay, we have a Dark Depths. Does anything go with that? No. We're doing well. <sighs> there is a Kiki Jiki. That doesn't do anything for us, though. You want to be in the, in the blues, not the blacks. I do like Croxa here. Yeah, I'll just take a Croxa. I'm not like, I'm not trying to be blue if I actually don't have to be. This is Esper, sure. It's not called Esper, it's called Rafine. <laughs> Whatever, shut up. Mesmeric Fiend has actually been doing some hard work in this cube. I always feel like it's played against me and I kind of get wrecked. Is there a way to put this in the trash can so that we can flash it back? And I, maybe we just take it like this, even. I mean, it's either that or Mesmeric Fiend. I think we take this if it comes back. Oh, God. Oh, God, is it Echo? MTG Packard, I'm going to take the Echo for you. So that way, when you make fun of me on YouTube, I'll be like, I only did it... I learned it from you, Dad. Abzan? All right. I do like Toxic Deluge. I also just like Lava Claw Reaches. I like to have some, some decent fixing. And Toxic Deluge... Actually, Lava Claw Reaches probably has a better chance of coming back. Maybe? I don't know. Who knows? Let's take the Toxic Deluge. 
treachery. How 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 much are we leaning into this blue? I would really like to take Satoru Umazawa and have a way to make him work, like a bitter blossom. Attack with a fairy token and put a little mog into play. We do need fixing. You're not incorrect. I want to take Bone Crusher Giant. I always pass Bone Crusher Giant, and I think I'm underrating him. I'm going to take Badlands here. Mardu. I do know a Savai Triome. Uh, <laughs> this Liliana's done some good work for us. I'm trying to pick up some 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 cheaper removal so that like if there's a white deck we don't get just steamrolled. I guess Liliana's fine for that. Ooh, Dark Confidant. <laughs> In this economy? God, I really want this Ugin, but we don't have any reasonable way to play that. I also don't care about Thundermaw Hellkite or Manamorphose that much, but Manamorphose could enable Echon, Echo of Eons a little bit easier. I think that whistle was to the tune of Toxic. Also, let's not forget we have Dark Depths in here, if that's... You know what? I'm just taking the Ugin. We don't know what's going to... We have a whole other pack. I think it's the strongest card in there. Did you do your Dark Confidant step? Yes, I did. And I will not spoil it, but it will be going up on YouTube. And it was pretty cool. So hopefully, you'll appreciate it. Our curve looks kind of like an AK-47. You know, I always say that. I'm going to take this Chandra. I think Massacre Worm is super sweet. I think it can win some games, but I think Chandra is just a more consistent card that I want to play in every game. You know what I'm saying? You guys feel me? I guess it's just duress. I don't foresee us playing much blue here. This guy's a two drop for sure. But I will definitely board in a duress and I will also play red elemental blast. So our sideboard's looking pretty, pretty spicy. Oh, Mesmeric Fiend came back. So we were correct. Lava Claw Reaches came back too. Wow, it's all coming up Millhouse. Now we have Badlands, Lava Claw, and Scalding Tarn. That's juice. When Livy Curse and Bright, when you don't control Legendary Vampire. Fascinating. I'm going to take Satoru Umizawa. Because I feel like this is a funner card to build around. I'm going to take Coma. Oh, Mizzy Mortar is actually just fine. That's a that's a main decker. And a Toski. Toski! You ever try ninjutsuing an Ugin? I don't think so. I don't think Magic Online likes that. Uh Ragavan seems like the pick, am I right? This is basically power, right? This monkey pirate. This through the breach is looking a little a little sus right now.
This actually seems like, I mean, I actually like the way this deck is looking. I don't think it's the most powerful deck, but I feel like it's got a lot of solid mid-range cards. Toxic Daily, Shieldred, Custody Lich, Ugin, Croxta, Bone Crusher, Colagon's Command, Thoughtseize, Ragaman. Like, it's, all the cards are powerful. Like, if, if we're just talking about mid-range decks, I think this is pretty solid. If you just stream Nin, Ninjit Ugin, Ninja Tugin. So we could take this volcanic island, which goes well with the Scalding Tarn. Yeah, I think we're going to take the volcanic island. I, I like the, the, the possibilities uh, leaning into blue opens up for us. Him to Torok. That's a good deal. Because if we get a Liliana, I'm definitely a Liliana of the Veil. I'm definitely considering playing Echovians on the main. This is just a Red Black Pioneer deck, but with Breach. That sounds correct, actually. <laughs> oh, we got a Vampire Hex Mage. Oh, that's spicy. Because of Dark Depths, you see. I can't pass that up. I want to try. I want to try Vampire Hex Mage Dark Depths. You know. Actually, maybe it was the Ulamog in this tables, but I don't want to risk that because Dark Depths. And we're also just going to put this in the deck now because I I don't want to treat it as a land. Yeah, I mean, she's also just kills Planeswalkers. I mean, I, I don't mind putting it in the deck. I think I'm more concerned with like having a Dark Depths randomly when I don't have. Um, what's her name? Vampire X Mage. Um, I also probably wouldn't mind a Thespian stage. See, the only problem is like crop rotation is the other supportive card for for Dark Depths, so we can't actually get that. Oh, what up, Love and Crafty? Long time no see. More like fart rotation. Is it? Is it like that? Fascinating. Creeping Tar Pit. Another late channel. Look, I think they even highlighted the channel because they know they're like, this idiot's going to take this channel. I kind of just want sneak sneak attack, though. I mean, it's just through the breach, but if, like, we end up going with this strategy, then if we get, like, a late Emrakul or if the Ulamog comes back, which it might. I do be dusting some crops sometime, if you understand me. I do. Whether it's for the best or not, I don't know. I was running a fire. Why? I don't know. And Emrakul is never late. She always arrives precisely when she means to. That sounds correct. If 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 I had to guess whether an Emrakul arrived. Do you know what? You actually gain two life if you Knights Whisper with a uh, shouldered out. This is like just just Black Ancestral Recall, right? Exile up to that many instant or sorcery cards, maybe like three or less. Him to Torok. So for f for five mana, I get to recast like Kolagon's Command. That's actually pretty good. I think that's a decent card to put in our five drop slot. So we got to Kolagon's Command, Toxic Deluge. Uh, him to Torok, Mizium Mortars, Knight's Whisper, Thoughtseize. Those all seem fine. Uh, I almost would definitely play Maul Drifter, especially if we're cutting Sneak and Through the Breach. We definitely have the mana for it currently. Our Sword of Fire and Ice could be good too. I don't think we have the 
creature sort though. We only have ten creatures so far. Yeah, I'll just take Molly. Like this, these are all questionable right now. Oh, but interestingly, we do have Imperial Recruiter to get Vampire Hex Mage as well. Marsh Flats gets bad lands. That's not terrible. Collective Brutality also lets us discard Echo of Eons, if that's something we want to do. Fascinating. I think it's Marsh Flats. Being able to just get a bad lands is pretty good. Mystic Confluence came back? Wow, that's disrespectful. Like, I just don't feel like they're the Breach and Sneak Attacker that great with only Ulamog. Jeez. If Marsh Flats got <laughs> Volcanic Island, I would take it, but... I think we're just taking Rabble Master here. Burst Lightning is fine. Okay, that actually might change things awkwardly. I did not think he was coming back. Why? Why are you still here? That's insane to me. Okay, well now we have some decisions to make. Three cuts. That's so funny, dude. Yeah, there was also a really late exhum, a makeshift mannequin, a recurring nightmare, which might be fine with like Rabble Master. Like, I think we can take Braids out. I actually really don't like Braids. I don't I don't think she's good. <laughs> like, at the beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice an artifact, creature, or land. Let's say we sacrifice a token. Each opponent may sacrifice a permanent that shares it. For each opponent that doesn't, they lose a life and you draw a card. I don't know, unless you have an engine that's, like, producing cards. Like, okay, I'll sack a land. They're like, all right, I don't want to sack a land. You draw a card. Like, you're just trading a land for a card. Yeah, it definitely gives the opponent too many options. Like, it just doesn't seem great. So I'm almost wondering if, like, these two are good enough. This actually doesn't kill them. And, in, and just, I don't know if it's even worth it. What if we just take these four out? How do we look after that? Like, we can bring an Imperial Recruiter to get Hex Mage. And this is 23. I think that feels correct. I, I think this is a trap. It's just good with so few of our cards. Moldrifter might also be a trap, and maybe we play like Recurring Nightmare instead, but I guess Moldrifter is really good with Recurring Nightmare. It might just be Recurring Nightmare instead of Braids. I mean, being able to keep getting Shielder back seems good. I, I think that's actually really good. And I don't think Moldrifter is actually that big of a commitment when we have Volcanic, Scalding, that's actually all we have, though. That's interesting. And we're going to play Ugin, too? That's interesting. Bloodgast is actually pretty good with Recurring Nightmare, right? You play a land, sack it. That's fascinating. Does that make braids good too? Maybe we take Ugin out for braids and just sacrifice. Huh. All right, let's see if this is the deck. No blue, Scalding Tarn, Marsh Flats, Lava Claw, Badlands. Number just two colors, and that kind of feels better. <laughs> braids can sack monkey droppings. That's awkwardly true. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 12, 9? Or do we want 11, 10? Probably 11, 10, because we have Ragavan. And we want to play turn 1 Ragavan. Sure, let's do it. I actually really love these these random red black decks. I like it better when you have uh, bigger packages like through the breach, sneak attack, and then maybe like two Eldrazi or something. But I think it's still pretty good. Bigger pack, you know, I was thinking that when I said it and I felt really bad. I was like, you just got to keep, you got to talk through it. You got to push through it and make sure you keep talking. Don't get stuck on the bigger packages part. And then maybe they'll let it go. Damn it. <laughs> they'll never let it go. Um, This is really tempting just because of Dark Depths. I don't feel like it's keepable, though, I'll be honest. Okay, well, we get to keep it anyway. <laughs> we just with the still get the Dark Depths. All right, we're going to ship the Mizium Mortars. Might have been Bloodthirsty Adversary. I'm not sure. Now I'm going to feel bad if it's a... If this is a... God damn it. I think... I, I think uh, Burst Lightning might just be main deckable in this format. Which did not feel correct in previous formats. And I got a Toxic Deluge. Would you like to cast it? No. Fascinating. That would be really good right now. I would really appreciate that Toxic Deluge. Are you ready for the top deck uh, Vampire Hex Mage? I actually hope it's two cards down. Oh, they had their own Toxic Deluge. Fascinating. Just made my first meal from HelloFresh thing early tonight. Did the pecan crusted chicken really dang good? Yeah, dude. It's actually surprisingly good. And it feels good because you made it yourself. Cyber Gear, really glad you enjoyed it, my dude. I will not block. Marsh Flats. That's good. I didn't want that. God, the ramp from Ragavan, dude. Unbelievable. Oh, okay. Fascinating. Alright, well, that's a thing, I guess. I have been waiting to try Factor, the HelloFresh for Yeah, I've seen I've seen the ads for Factor. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay, okay. That is a lot of lands to draw. Turns out the Toxic Deluge, or not the Toxic Deluge, the Mizzy Mortars might have been better to keep there. Burst Lightning, come on down. Fire Blast, come on out. Okie dokie. I got my pig. You know, I've always been meaning to change the piggy mode, but I never have. I'll keep this. I I actually agree with you. I think I should have played adversary. I think it's just because I, I. So again, like I get locked into this mode, and I have to consciously choose not to do it. I have to say like, okay, you don't have to play it as a five drop. Just play it as a two drop. Um. 
yeah and so i like have to consciously like unlock myself from that rigidity let's get out of badlands love and crafty i appreciate the resub though i assume it just happened right now thank you so much buddy Wow, two games in a row. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> I have one of those as well. Uh, that's removal. We're just going to take the dam because these three don't do anything. Well, at least we have to Kologon's command it next turn if it's a problem. Okay, we saw that. Scrubble of a ding dong. And pack rat. Sounds good. Okay, okay. I'd probably want to kill this guy. Uh, two damage and discards a card. Ugh. Thank you. Love and crafty. Welcome back. Thank you for the resub. Oh boy. Do I kill this? Pack rat's just a win condition on its own. I don't want to discard a card. But I almost don't want to make them discard either. So it's kind of awkward. And we're killing Packrat to prevent them from discarding. So kind of doesn't make much sense. But I guess we're also doing it because the Packrat is a problem. But then if we save it from the rat discards, they're still going to get another rat. That's the problem. Like, there's always another rat. And we don't want them to win with rats. You know what I mean? You, you feel me? I mean, we're just hoping that they didn't draw a reanimate spell on the two cards that they've drawn. Jesus fucking Christ. Always have it as right. It's good times. <laughs> Frank, that is a reanimation spell. They had two draw steps. Two draw steps. Five, six, huh? They sacrifice a creature or planeswalker. Holy Jesus, that card is good. I guess we're just hoping we they draw nothing good. We sacrifice we discard Chandra, and then we get to kill the Archon with the custody lich. That's the dream. They have two draw steps and they have to hit they have to hit a, a reanimate spell. I have one draw step and I need to land. Can we do that? I guess that's true, but no one's ever paid eight mana for this guy, I don't think. It's rare. I've cast him for sure, but most of the time this dude's like, hmm, two mana. <laughs> God, I even helped them with the stupid Kolagons command. Why did I just make myself discard? I could have just discarded like a land. Oh, that seems good. Are we alive? Oh, mana tithe. No mana tithe, huh? Okay.
Okay. Okay. They're just going to cast Grave Titan at some point, though. Yeah, give me that. Rabblemaster. They're going to hit land Grave Titan because they've drawn, like, four extra cards from Archon of Cruelty. No? I'm fascinated. Exhum. <laughs> Holy jeez, God. Oh, good lord. Oh. Oh, wow. Really? Why didn't you just Grave Titan? Why didn't you just throw the Breach Grave Titan here? That's insane. I mean, it doesn't matter. We're just taking. Ugh, God. Sacrifice a creature. Does it matter? No. It doesn't. They can kill this guy, but that's fine. I'm having a good time. Remember that time we lost both games to turn one Ragavan? And then we didn't get to draw our Ragavan at any point? I do. I remember. What's it going to be? Toxic Deluge. Oh, Night's Whisper? Deal. Into Toxic Deluge. No, oh, Mizzy Mortars? No, okie dokie. Cool. We could have attacked. They would block. We Mizzy Mortars this guy, but then, like, what's our game plan? We know they have Grave Titan through the Breach Worm Coil. I like that they revealed their hand as if I didn't get to see it off Mesmeric Fiend. I feel like I always lose the first round and then do really well in the second two rounds. That's my that's the entirety of my magic career, just getting to that loser's bracket and sailing to victory. <laughs> oh good. Wonderful. That guy's dead. I hope they play something like Oracle of Maldaya and they miss, so then we can go Kolokon's Command kill them both. Birthing pod. Well, I will definitely kill both of those things then. Destroy an artifact. Deals two damage. So now the question is, do I care about birthing pod when they only have two mana and no creatures? <sighs> Probably not, to be honest. I'd rather take them off a bunch of mana. Do you think just for a brief moment that tireless tracker felt tired before being stomped? I feel like I would be. It's got to be exhausting. Upheaval Hydroid Crassus. Let's get rid of Hydroid Crassus. You can have your your upheaval. This guy's on an adventure. Can you see Magic Online lagging because it's been open for so long? Hex Drinker. Good enough to keep? No. Yes, apparently. Well, I have a Mizium Mortars, so... That's a sorcery, my good man. Give me that upheaval. That's a big yoinkers for me, my dog. I like that Imperial Recruiter gets Vampire Hex Mage, so if we actually draw Dark Depths, we can play Imperial Recruiter and Dark Depths and Hex Mage. But that that requires us to draw. I'm gonna bring in Red Elemental. Oh, I, why does this keep happening? <laughs> what? Why do people just concede after one game in the Vintage Cube? I don't understand. It's like the funnest way to play Magic. Like. I don't get it.
Um, sure. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed for that turn one Ragavan. But I mean, like, I could always just have worse draws in the game, in the second game, which I most likely will because, come on. I like that guy, and I like being able to kill that guy. God, sometimes magic makes you say these dark things. I like being able to murder that gentleman. Well, that doesn't sound healthy at all. <sighs> yeah, I mean, they had mana crypts. Like, come on, your deck can't be that bad. Why are we conceding here? Oh, now we're going to just deluge. I'll take four, I guess. And then I'll take three more, I guess. So next we can play either Liliana or Rabble Master into Little Litchy. I mean, it's probably going to be Liliana, right? Fascinating. Liliana and Ragavan. Cutesy tootsy. Not that. This guy. Finally, guys, the turn four Ragavan. That's what we've always wanted. It's usually a late night to hell with this game compulsion. Yeah, I understand that. Like, where you're just kind of done. I guess I just feel like playing cube matches is, like, super fun. Oh, good. You could just get to kill both. Phenomenal. I think Glorybringer is shockingly underrated. Yep, it's pretty good. <sighs> Frustratingly so, you might say. Well, this guy is actually exerted. So we have at least one turn before... And I'll definitely block the tireless tracker if that's who they keep an attack with. It was. Fascinating. Braids. So next time we can play both of these. And if the goblins attack and survive, we can actually sack a goblin. Garuki, Garuki. <laughs> Snap a block, this guy. I will not give you the Monarch A. Bloodthirsty Adversary being able to get back Toxic Deluge here seems pretty good. Let's give Garrick a little bump. Whoop. 
See, now we're definitely going to sack this to draw a card. Okay. This is actually going decently, I guess. Chandra's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can actually seven. One, two, three, four, six. This is eight to do twice. Unfortunately, we only have one card in our graveyard, but. Oh, God, again with this, these dragons? I guess Chandra just kills it. So they get the monarchy for like a turn. They draw a card and then we get to kill it with Chandra. That seems reasonable. Long live the king. You gonna play anything else or you're just gonna crack some clues? One, two, three, four. Lots of planeswalkers going on here. Rabble Master down. Tempted to just play this as a 2 2 and attack the Garrick. They might just block. See if we can just eat Vraska here. Wow, they're really keeping Magda around. Mm, done. The problem is a may ability. I'd love to sack Chandra and kill kill Garrick here, but. Oh, we didn't get the em oh, we didn't get the emblem back. That's stupid. I forgot that it was you have to attack their face. And by the emblem, I mean the monarchy. Whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, that's it. Just six, right? Primeval Titan. Oh, uh, the next spell. Finale for four. Uh, there is a way to play Commander Online. It's Magic Online. That's pretty good. God, Questing Beast is also a hell of a card. Yep. This game is going worse now. <laughs> I'm at four? Jesus Christ. And I'm... <laughs> God, come on, dude. Jesus. Ugh. Yes, you can play Magic the Gathering Commander on Magic Online. Correct. I, I understood. Uh, Duress seems actually decent against them. They have a ton of counter spells. Or not counter spells, Planeswalkers, rather. I was looking at a roll and it was a blast, and I'm like, they're not playing blue, so. Uh. 
just gonna submit, I guess. I don't know. Ragavan turn one. Still no? Okay, understood. We could be sneaking sneak attacking Ulamogs, but it's just not. I feel like it's not consistent enough. Where do I feel like this game went off the rails? Um I think the Garrick was surprisingly good. Okay, let's do that. Sure. Yeah, not drawing Ragavan in any of our seven ga five games. That's been nice. I mean, what are you going to do? The opponent who also had Ragavan got them every game, but, you know. What can you do, you know? Ooh, hoo -hoo. see, this is a good start. This is what's known as a good opening, except for the infinite number of lands we're drawing. I got, I did get on turn four, that's true. What are you complaining about? <laughs> what problem is? <laughs> Every fucking game turn four, dude. Come on. Guess we'll be dashing. Shockingly consistent. Forest. Okie dokie. All right. We'll jam it. It might actually be worth getting back Croxa. Grist. Solid. I guess we just kill Grist here. And then check out their little hand. All right, we're jamming. Oh, no. Goldspan and Garrick. <sighs> My creatures actually are not prepared to deal with a Garrick, but a Goldspan is just kind of annoying. Is that correct? <sighs> Garrick, they make a 3-3, three, three, and I'm just like, I guess if they make a 3-3, three, three, we could Toxic Deluge. But then they get the gold spam back anyway. Ugh. I think 3-3s three from Garrick are less oppressive here. I mean, if we draw any removal spell for a beast like a Mizium Mortars... Then we can just kill the beast anyway. Oh, okay, so we know your one card is a mountain now. It's not exactly what we were looking for, but I guess we can kill this guy with it. So that's not bad. Dragon Rage Channeler, huh? That's a 1-1. One, one. Oh, what up, Mike? Mike G? I mean, I kind of like the idea of filling my graveyard. I'll just take three here, and I'll just attack you with these two. Or just one, I guess, really. We could also dash Ragavan and see if they want to trade. 
they probably would. Eleven to seventeen. <laughs> They're like, wait, I'm not winning this race. That's pretty good. Do I just want to drop the monkey here? No, because if we toxic deluge. Oh, dude, I've been watching the Office Superfan episodes on Peacock. And I haven't seen them yet. And so, like, on this on this go through, this rewatch, I'm just watching the uh the longer. Like, they're like 30 minutes, I think. Or 35. They're like a little longer. But they have a bunch of I'm like, there's so many scenes where I'm like, oh my god, I haven't seen this before. This is brand new. Dude, Mike, I had no idea you were an office fan. That's hilarious. Dink and Flicka. All right, so that... Actually, Burst Lightning is probably pretty good here, too, because, you know, Planeswalkers. We have not drawn him to Torok once. We have not Vampire Hexed Mage... Dark Depths once. We have not Ragavand turn one once. We haven't drawn Shieldred a single time. I'm just going to play 41 because I keep flooding, so. <laughs> Thankfully, there are no references to TPS reports in the entire show. So that's good. Oh, look at that. Speak of the devil. Magic Online was like, okay, you want shoulder? Fine. You want dark depths? Here you go. Let me see what you let me see what you got. Oh, fascinating. I'll take the gold span because that card's threatening. And the rest of your hand. It does create an avatar. Dang it. Christopher, you're so smart. That's why Card Kingdom pays in the big bucks. That's a good top deck. Really proud of you. So, so special. I just want to draw Hex Mage. That's all. One time. Not asking a lot. It's really not. It's a 1 in 31 chance here, guys. Another forest, huh? Screw a tribe builder. Crack it. Get another clue. Crack a clue. Attack for four. Is that the play? 1 out of 31? Basically 50%. It's basically a coin flip. We're already at 12, though. That's disconcerting. Wrong double black spell. Uh, 
This feels probably better than just braids here. Braids is a 3-3 that's not going to be able to block this because they have Ignoble Hierarch. Oh wow, we had Hex Drinker and Vraska leaving them with one land. It's pretty good. They could have also just killed Braids with Vraska. They just go Vraska, Braids, kill your Braids, attack for five. So, you know, there's a lot of things happening here. Like, I, I swear to God, though, if we get Vampire Hex Mage, we probably can't lose against this deck. Just crack two clues, attack for seven. Then I have to Deluge for five in order to kill him. But I'll be at five. So you can see the predicament we're in here. Yep. I feel like we're so close here. Oh, dude, I don't go to bed till like 5 a.m. most nights. Pretty good. Fucking lethal off the top. Must be nice. Wow, I really would have loved to see what I was going to draw, but... Imperial Recruiter. Yep, cool. Anyway, 1-2. Kind of not what I expected, but what are you going to do? Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Be sure to check out HelloFresh. It's a great way to support the channel. It is also extremely good. Uh, it's a great deal. You can cancel whenever you want. And I get a kickback. So if you really want to support the channel and you want to eat some food, because I feel like you guys are probably going to eat something anyway, check out HelloFresh. Super easy. It takes five minutes. It's really nothing. And then you get to support the channel and say, I helped Frank survive. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.